Welcome back to my movie thing. Way, we're all so happy you're back, Magnus. Woohoo! Now, with 500% less hair. Let's just get on with it. Transformers. Yes. It does take liberties, as far as the story and design goes. But Hasbro, you know, the toy producer, were never very reverent about their own franchise, were they? So who really cares that much? It's not like they're raping your childhood or anything, come on. It's a fun-filled, silly action movie, and I think it succeeds as one. Like, the dialogue in the first half is really good, actually. I find found it very entertaining. So they managed to keep it fresh while, it, while there was an action. And the action was good. The action was fun. But listen to this. There is so much less dialogue in the second half. So why couldn't it be as good as the dialogue in the first half? I mean, come on. All in all, I'm going to give it one eyebrow. Next up... Knocked up. It's Apatow. I like Apatow in general, so it, it was bound to be funny. But as a whole, it left me wanting something more. There were many missed opportunities. Uh, why didn't a pregnancy, for one thing, prove more of a threat to her job? I know Apatow likes to iron over professional issues, like he did in The 40-Year-Old Virgin, in order to sort of make way for the romantic humour and drama. But the whole pregnancy versus entertainment job thing is a nice thing. I think, I think it, it, it felt unexplored. All in all, one eyebrow. And next up is Surf's Up. Wow, what an overlooked movie. Among all these shitty 3D animation films these days, it surprised me. The documentary film style, it feels fresh, it feels suitable for the film. It never gets too preachy. And also it's not packed to the brim with pop culture references, which is a trend I loathe in today's 3D animation films. Hint, hint, Shrek. Though it really doesn't look cheap in any way, it doesn't try too hard to wow you with glitz and eye candy, you know what I mean? I'd say it's the only 3D animation I've seen that could battle Pixar on a bad day. Because most can't. All in all, I'd give it two eyebrows. Boop. Next up. Hairspray. Ah, oh, that was a cheesy sing-songy fun. It's full of pep, it's full of good nature, it hit home with me. Even though a few of the song and dance numbers were a bit tedious sometimes. Elijah Kelly is so nice. And Nikki Blonsky is brilliant, she's radiant, really. Pfeiffer, let's just say this makes me want to see Batman Returns again. And again. And again. All in all, Hairspray gets two eyebrows. Way! Okay, last one. Rush Hour 3. I'm about God, to some God, God, shut up, Tucker! Shut, ass, just shut the fuck up! Your you voice makes our ears bleed! Man, man. Seriously, though. The jokes are mean-spirited and unoriginal. The action is uninspired. And what is up with Chris Tucker's voice? I actually left the cinema. It it was it was too much for me. It too 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 damn much. Go away. Leave me alone. All in all, I'd have to give this film. Ah oh, my eyes! See you later. I am